All right, guys, this video is going to go over the TT bit. Now, what's a TT bit? A TT bit is a timer timing bit, meaning that as the value on the timer is accumulating, before it gets to the preset value, we need to have a bit that turns on. Now, in the Tweedo Suite, they do not have a specific TT bit. They have the Q as the output bit, but they don't have a TT bit. But it's a quick and easy fix in order to create something to mimic that that bit that's available on the Allen Bradley PLCs. So we have uh, one input. So I have one input and one output. The input I have is just my start push button, physically wired to input number one. And the output that I'm using is the same indicator light that's wired to output number six. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to program. And I'm gonna drop in a section and I want my push button to turn on my timer. Timers are right here, guys. Okay, this one came in as a, an on delay timer. Again, if I wanted to change that, I could easily just tap here and be able to change it to an off delay. But I'm gonna keep it as an on delay. And it looks like the time base is one second and the preset that I have is five. Okay, I'm gonna go back to program. And I'm going to eliminate this part of the run. So I'm going to hit backspace here. Because if I check it later on, it's going to tell me that there's no output there. So I'm going to eliminate it right now. The thing that's going to turn on my timer is my input. So I hit input 0 0.1. That was my push button. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop another rung in below. And I want two instructions to turn on my indicator light. My indicator light, I physically wired to output number six. And what I want to do is I want to be able to hit the push button. So there's my push button there. Let's just address that. Input zero dot one. Okay. And I also want the output. So if I hover here, you can see that Q is the output of the timer. I want the output to not set yet. So right here, I'm going to drop in and examine if open, or look for a zero. And for that guy, I'm going to look at the actual timer. And the timer is addressed right here. So it's percent TM0. But the output is Q, so I'm going to put dot Q. There we go. So that's giving me my, my timer output now. So if we're clear, I, I'm going to hit this push button. And as long as the output hasn't set, then I want the light to be on. So that's going to turn the light on as the timer is timing out. So just doing this, we've created a TT bit. Okay, now let's check for some issues in the program. So we'll go to analyze the program. Everything looks good here. We can save that. Looks good. If you don't have a PLC at this point, you can go to your simulator and try this out. I have my PLC hooked up, so I'm going to go over here to debug. I'm connected in with my serial port, but as always, if you're using an Ethernet connection, make sure you have the IP address that you've used before with that PLC. Okay, we're going to drop that program into the PLC. We're going to hit OK a couple times, and then I'm going to pause this because it takes some time before it goes to the PLC. Okay, now that we're on this screen, we're going to hit Run. We're waiting for this green light to turn on. There we go. Okay, so we can minimize this. And now watch what happens. I'm going to hit the start push button. That's going to start my timer incrementing. So right here is my accumulated value. It's going to start to increment up to a value of five. And as it's incrementing up, this light is going to be on. So as soon as I hit the push button, the light is going to turn on. And the light will turn off when these two values are the same. When the preset and the accumulated will be the same. This will be a one. We're looking for it to be a zero. So as soon as this is a one, this is not true, and the light will go out. Okay, so I'm going to hit the start push button now. You can see this value incrementing now. The light is on as it's timing out. And when it gets to the end where the two values are the same, then the light turns off. So now we've got a light that turns on as the timer is timing out. I'm going to let go of the start push button, and you'll see that this value goes right to a zero. There we go, and then we're ready to rock and roll again, just waiting for the push button to come in. That's going to turn on the indicator light. There we go. We're waiting until this gets to a value of 5, 
and at that point the light goes out. Very nice. Okay, so the, there's always a quick and not maybe not necessarily quick, but there's there's other things that we could put into our toolbox uh, to help us to create a program that mimics what the customer is asking for. So in this case, we may need to have a time a, a bit that sets as the timer is timing out. Ninety nine percent of the time, you're going to use this done bit here or this timer output. But now we've got another bit that we can use, and we'll throw that in our toolbox for later on. The other thing I want to show you in this video was um, if you want to look at the actual bits, then you can go here to Manage Animation Tables. Now, at this point, I uh, already put in my input, my timer output, and my indicator light. But if this wasn't here, you would just go to Create a New Table. On the Allen Bradley PLC, they have on the side of your program all of the data tables available. You just double click on them and you can see the bits in real time. On the Twitter suite, you have to create a table and tell it which bits that you're going to look at. So I want to look at my push button, the timer output, and the indicator light. Once those are in, you're going to have to click here and then these will set. And then you go over to animate the program. And we still don't see those that table there, but if we scroll down here, then we've got, what's this, program browser, and this guy right here, animation tables. We're going to click on this right here, and that's going to, now again, I have pulled this up, but normally it comes up like this, and you have to pull it up so you can actually see what's going on in that table. So right now, I haven't put hit the push button, so this is a zero. The output of the timer is off, so it's a zero, and the indicator light is off, so it's a zero as well. I'm going to hit the push button. That is going to turn on the light right away, but the timer output will not set. So it'll be a 1, 0, 1. Then the value in the timer will increment up to a value of 5 in this case. And when those two values are the same, I'm still hitting the push button, so this will still be a 1. The output will turn to a 1. The indicator will turn to a 0 and will go out. Okay, so starting off, what are we looking for? We're looking for a 1 here, a 0, and a 1. So 101. I'm going to hit the push button right now. There's our 101. It's timing out when it gets to the value of 5. Then the timer output changed. And as soon as the timer output changed, you can see that the light has gone to a 0. Okay, if that was a little bit too quick, then we'll hit it again. 101. The value is incrementing here to a value of 5. And when it gets to a value of 5, then the timer output changes and the indicator light goes out. 